Rostec reports that the new AL51 F1 engine has passed all tests with flying colors, exceeding every expectation. This new engine produces a strong thrust of 11,000 kg and an afterburner capable of reaching 18,000 kg. With the engine upgrade, the Su-57 can now reach a cruising speed of Mach 2, while reducing its visibility in the infrared range, a decisive advance over its predecessor. The adoption of the AL-51 F1 engine does not just improve the Su-57. It also revitalized another Russian stealth fighter, the Su-75 Checkmate. Reported by BulgarianMilitary.com Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum, SPIF, the Su-75 is scheduled to launch its maiden test flight in mid-2025. Early prototypes of this revolutionary aircraft are being built at the Gagarin Aircraft Factory, KNOZ. Currently, the Russian Air Force's Su-57 fleet is powered by the AL-41 F-1 engine or its modified version, the AL-41 F-1S. This use is claimed to be a game-changer that pushes the Su-57 firmly into the ranks of fifth-generation fighter aircraft. The AL-41 F-1 engine was originally developed for the MiG-1.44 project. Over time, this aircraft received upgrades and evolved into the AL-41 F-1S which is now used on the Sukhoi Su-35S and later on the Su-57. The Su-57 is one ton lighter than the Su-35S and is equipped with a pair of updated AL-41 F-1 engines to increase thrust by 1,400 kg, 700 kg each. Logically suggests that the Su-57 should have no difficulty in cruising at high speeds. Speed Mach 1.25, Mach 1.31, without afterburner. Despite the progress, critics began to express concerns, particularly about the lack of an S-shaped air intake, which significantly increased the equivalent radar cross-section (EPR). However, the Su-57 employs a different technical strategy to compensate for the absence of these air inlets. In 2020, an interesting practice was seen in photos and videos of the fighter, the air intakes were either carefully fixed or completely hidden because the turbine blades were not visible. However, that doesn't mean they don't exist, they don't look flashy. The experts at the Sukhoi Design Bureau did not ignore the S-channel, they choose different approaches due to specific machine characteristics. According to a Russian government press release, the Yuri Gagarin Aviation Factory in Komsomolsk on Amor, under the umbrella of the United Aircraft Corporation UAC, at Rostec, successfully delivered a new batch of fifth-generation Sukhoi 57 fighters. After a series of comprehensive factory and performance tests, the report notes that the aircraft has been officially handed over to the military. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Industry and Trade Denis Mancharov has also confirmed the news of the delivery of the aircraft. Mancharov highlighted the impressive production momentum achieved by Russian aircraft manufacturing companies and emphasized their continued commitment to supplying state-of-the-art combat equipment to the country's armed forces. In particular, he praised the smooth coordination and performance of the Rostec company, where the Komsomolsk on Amor Aviation Factory succeeded in delivering a number of Sukhoi 57 and Sukhoi 35S aircraft to the Russian Air Force. The Deputy Prime Minister emphasized that the challenges related to meeting the needs of the Russian Armed Forces for reliable equipment and was very effectively addressed immediately, thanks to the efforts of a coordinating council operating under the Russian government.
Although the conflict in Ukraine continues and puts additional pressure on Russia's military weapons complex, the country continues to increase its production of advanced weapons systems, including the Su-57. The Su-57 program was originally scheduled to begin serial production in 2017. However, the program only successfully launched its first aircraft in 2021, following a test flight accident in 2019.